Gil, we got to address this elephant in the room. I don't know if you saw it today, Ooh, but I saw it. How big is the elephant? He ginormous. <laughs> and, and he he been, he been causing the stir since uh I had Cat Williams on my podcast. Oh man, man, uh-huh. Gil. And the thing is, is that when he came, I had reached out to Cat last year, and uh, he said he's gonna get to me. And so I, I just, but in the meantime, I've had Steve Harvey on the pod. I've had Cedric the Entertainer on the pod. I've had Michael Michael Blackston on the pod. Uh, who, uh, uh, Ricky Smiley on the pod, mm. and so everybody's kind, of, with the exception of Steve. Steve didn't really tell any stories, uh, uh about the comedy thing. He just told how he how he started out in comedy and ended mm. up brand. You know, Steve is is really positive now. No matter what you think of, I like Steve. I talk to Steve from time to time. He's been great. He's been great to me, and I can only judge someone by the experience that I have dealing with said person. Uh-huh. Um, but. <laughs> when when so you know we make a little small chit chat we're both getting mic'd up and so I'm thinking to myself you know I got questions I always set questions so I set questions for anywhere between three hours I'd say three hours mm-hmm. if they got that kind of time good but I'm thinking can't we if they gonna you know because he don't really do a whole lot he doesn't do a whole lot of posting mm-hmm. and he doesn't do a whole lot of sit down and like he said uh, you know I gotta feel like I want to I, I ain't Selling a product, I'm not selling a book. I don't, I don't promote my shows. I gotta feel like I want to come talk to said individual, individual, yeah. even though I'm not selling anything. And he told me, say, now you got a great platform. He said, I love how you let the uh, uh, the guests talk, let them share their story. You don't interrupt, blah blah blah. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, you know, well, actually, I sit the interview for about an hour and a half. That's what I go. But I always have a couple of cards that if we need to go a little longer, I can get some stuff in. So mm-hmm. the, the interview goes 246. Now, mind mm-hmm. you, I got another, I still got questions for another 20, 30 minutes. So we really could have gone over three hours. But at uh-huh. that point in time, whew, I'm exhausted. Uh-huh. So, you know, I do my interview. Hey, welcome to another edition of Club Shay Shay. I'm your host, also a proprietor, blah, blah, blah. And then I read around his accolades, what he or she has done. And so we take, I say, when you come on, we take, a, he took a shot. Gil. Before I ask one question, he went 30 minutes. So now, as the interview E, interview, <laughs> excuse me, as the interview er, I'm going in my head, do I cut him off and get to the line of questioning, or do I let him go? Mm-hmm. You like let him go. I said, God, yeah. you in control. Take the wheel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he went. I heard, I see. He he, he went. And that little liquor hit his body. No, nah, but, but like he said, uh, like he said, he said, I don't need to be motivated. The truth doesn't motivate. He says, I just, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to set the record straight. And he's asking me, say, well, why did you? I say, Cat, I'm assuming when someone comes on my show and they're telling me something that no one else has heard, I'm assuming they're telling me the truth because yes. only said individual was there would know. Yeah. So you're asking me, well, why didn't you correct this? Hell, I wasn't on the set, so I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? I can't correct it. This is your opportunity to set the record straight, man. What's, what's so funny, that, that happens in a lot of interviewers when they say, you know, why didn't you ask them this? How the fuck am I supposed to know? <laughs> exactly. Right? <laughs> I, this is the, like, like, you you should have called in right. and, and, you know, rebuttaled. But, you know. Um, and I've done as know, much research as I possibly can. We do yeah. our due diligence. We make mm-hmm. sure we find as much as we possibly can. And sometimes we're able to find nuggets and they ask like, who told you this? How did you find mm-hmm. this? Because mm-hmm. we do a deep dive. And mm-hmm. so my team, CJ, mainly CJ, he, do, he does as great a job as he possibly can. And I was like, well, CJ, did you hear about this? And there are some things that I've heard over the years that we, we ask. And, it, and people, they, they ask, they're like, well, how did you hear this? Where did you, where, where did you get this from? I said, I got my sources too. So yeah. we try to make sure that we cover everything and we as thorough as possible. But my thing is, Gil, is that, look, you come to my platform, you talk. I'm mm-hmm. not trying to, you know, trying to, I'm not trying to be no, I, I had no idea where Cat was going to go. I had some, the only thing that I really, that he, like I said, he went 30 minutes and I didn't even get a question in. Mm-hmm. I didn't ask the man where he was from, how old he was, <laughs> how many brothers and sisters he had. I didn't ask him anything. He just mm-hmm. says, 
this is what I this is what's on my mind. Yeah. I mean, they, but that's what makes for a great interview sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, you know, he probably listened to that interview and, and felt some type of way, obviously did. But, you know, it, it's, you you have, it's like having, you, you have the ball in your hand. Yes. Right? Yes. He had the ball in his hand. Yes. Right? He's making the call. They're coming to him. Like he said, I'm getting all these, yeah. these things and I'm, I'm trying to change it. I'm saying I'm not going to do this. I don't want this. I don't want that. Well, how long before they stop asking you to do stuff if you're going to keep denying and trying to change something? Right. Right. Before they just move on. So I think the problem is, is the balls you didn't want, someone else picked them up and became a star with it. Right. Right. Now you want to try to diminish the person's stardom. Right. He's a plant. No. He probably was a plant. Now he's a fucking tree. He's a tree now, right? He's done got his roots into these ground and he's stabilized. Right. Right. And and, and I think that's the problem. When he had the ball, I don't think he capitalized the way he wanted to. Genius. What he does is great. Yeah. His movie roles, excellent. He plays the hell out of them. Yeah. You know, some of the roles he, he, he dodged that he, 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 rightfully so some movie roles he should have took right right but th- but that's his decision he made the decision somebody else said i'll do it right and they they took off you can't blame a man for for taking a job that you didn't want to take no I, absolutely not and i think the thing is that when i told people i was like look i out the gate in 24 i said i'm we're gonna break the internet mm-hmm. i said the guy that i that i got like i said the person that i got teed up i gil you know like a lot of times, and I've done over a hundred of these just for Club Shay Shay, much more because I used to do a lot of interviews when I was at CBS. And so, um, and I, you're like, you're like, I think this is going to be really, really, really good. But you don't know because there have been some that I thought I did an excellent job and it didn't get the, the views, the likes, the mention, and didn't go viral like I thought it would. And I did mm-hmm. some I thought it did was okay, but it just took off. But yeah. this one, I had a sense. And yeah. I remember, I remember asking, you know, talking to Jordan and talking to CJ and 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 the makeup, and it's like, what you think? And everybody was just they were just shaking their head. I was like, what? It's like, you don't get she they're like, Shannon, this is gonna go crazy. Yeah. I see, I don't know, because you know, I'm I'm trying to stay in my role as the interviewer mm-hmm. and not pick a side. You know, I'm going to, you know, he says something funny. I'm going to laugh, but I'm trying mm-hmm. to stay as straight and narrow as I possibly can. I just, I'm not trying to push him in any direction. You just go, you just do you a, and I'm going to try to follow you wherever you go. And, mm-hmm. but I'm going to, you know, if there's something that I think that the audience is going to want to follow up to, I'm going to try to get that in there. Yeah. Uh, but Gil, I mean, I remember walking out and CJ, the, uh, the producer of the show, he called, he like, Shannon. This is gonna blow up the internet. I said, You think so? I said, mm-hmm. I think it was good. He's like, No, you haven't done anything like this. And <laughs> it's go, it's go crazy. It's because you have because there's a history and the guest you had already laid the dominoes up for someone who's saying, Wait, hold on, I got the ace cards on all y'all. Right. Hold on. Uh-uh. That's not how this played out. Right. And he gets he gets to show his trump. Yeah. And that's what that was. Um, you know, th- there were some episodes that I did and not like this one where someone is getting to trump and make himself like no, that's not that's not that, what happened. That's not what happened. But I had some that after we finished, I said, "Yo, we're going to we're going to blow but how does he look at me after this? Right. Because sometimes when you're doing an interview and the guy gets so comfortable, he starts saying some things. Right. That, I mean, he starts. And that's the thing, Gil. I'm cool with Steve Harvey. I'm mm-hmm. cool with Ricky Smiley. I'm cool with said the entertainer. I'm cool with uh, with Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. I know Michael Blackson a little bit, but I don't, I don't know him. I don't have his number. But I'm a lot of the people that he earthquake. 
Earthquake, yeah. my dog. I told her quake <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now yeah. he's the guy that I talk to more than any of those guys. But mm-hmm. do I have conversations with Steve, with Steve Harvey? Absolutely. Have mm-hmm. I talked to Kevin Hart? Yeah, been to Kev's house, checked his car collection, and just saw him at an event the other night. So I have a, a, a personal relationship. I'm not saying we boys, they come to my house and I go to their house, but we have a a, 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 a friendly uh, relationship that we cool. Mm-hmm. And so my thing is, I'm like, well, that's the hardest part because yeah. he's talking, up, he's saying things about people. And I'm like, man, I say the best thing for me is just to be Switzerland, stay neutral, mm-hmm. ask the questions. And then I'm going to let the view, view and audience, I'm not taking a side. I'm going to let the view and audience take their side. Uh, Cedric has already responded. Michael yeah. Blackson has responded. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think, I don't think, I don't know if Kat's going to respond. Um, but it wasn't that faith. Uh, one of our faithful said that damn Laporte is true, sir. Um, Kat took one sip. Nah. What, 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 we, no, actually, we got, Jordan can tell you, we could have should have had the cameras rolling when he walked in. Oh, he was going already. And and and, <laughs> and, and but, but but you know we and and I don't think a lot of people really understand like when you're when you're coming from the athletic side, you have more integrity, right? Yeah. Than just beat writer. Yes. Right. Yeah. Who's trying to make their name off of interviews? Right. Right. There's somewhere I had to erase whole 20, 30 minutes of rants. Right. I'm like, oh no. Nah. Like if you want to do this on your own, <laughs> right. do this on your own, but I'm not gonna put this out and then you look at me in like why do you protect why me? Why didn't you protect yes. me? Yes. Right. Yeah. And that's the thing. I'm like, wow. And so I just hope, and from the from the looks of it, fans have, have, have really liked it. Um, that was our our goal was to try. Look, my goal is always the same. Gil, I try to do the best content I possibly can. I try to get people that I believe people that subscribe, listen, view, watch, download Club Shay Shay want to hear from. Yeah. And for the most part, I can get one or two stories that they haven't told or they haven't told in a long time. And if they have told, people don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, and so what Cat did, I mean, he did, he did me a solid. I mean, because, you know, I didn't think he was. I was going to be able to get him as soon as I I did. I didn't, and and at the end of the day, and what I've decided to do, I'm still Club Shay Shay's best booking agent. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have a company. I got two companies that help, but I'm the best booking agent. So <laughs> I'm just going to go back to you know, hey, get on my phone, hey, bro, hey, or go to people's DMs. Yeah. Now, listen, it was a good, it was a good interview. I mean, there's nothing, there's, you know, you know, this is between them. They all said their piece and he got to say his, right? That's how yeah. this was. Yeah. This, he just this, having to be last. You know the man, he just having to be last. The, the person that laughed the loudest laughed last. Not mm-hmm. the last laugh that you heard. Yeah. So, right. And, 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 and it, because I follow because I follow comedy so much, I know all these guys joke. I know their material. I know like, ah, that sound like this guy's, right? right? You know, I used to be ET. I, the, I oh yeah, to, Comedy I, View and Def Comedy Jam, absolutely. That, uh, at the Apollo, all, that, yeah. That's all, that's why my humor sounds like the 90s. Yeah. Right, yeah. it sounds like the 90s, that rough, rugged, Corey Holcomb straight at you type, yeah. of, type of humor, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, guys where I'm like, man, you should have blown what happened, right? Um, You know, so this has been a war for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. With this group. Right. (laughs) With this group. Um, So it's one of those things where because there's only allowed right now, only a few comedians that can be at the top when you get that spot, the only thing you really can do is try to give parts to to everyone else. Yes. And I, I think where Kevin has thrived for himself is when he can't do something, he puts someone else on. Yeah. Right. If he can't do something, he puts someone else on. Right. And when you was in that position, if you didn't think of that, you can't get mad that he's doing it. Right. Right. That- you, you just got to see, you know what I mean? Cause him, you know, cat and, um, um, 
Mike, Mike Epps. Yeah. They both got the same, they, they both beefing with the same person. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he's just a man on the top and he, you know, he's right. smart enough not to let it go now. Yeah. I, I, that's, that's how I am with my podcast is that I'm in a position now ha having a media company and I get an opportunity to try to help someone that want to help themselves. Right. I know. <laughs> that want that want to work because mm -hmm. my whole thing is predicated on hard work and discipline. Now, mm -hmm. if you don't bring those things to the table, it, it's not going to work for you and I. So let's not waste any, you know, let's not waste your time and more importantly, not let's not waste mine. Mm -hmm. If you want to work, if you're disciplined, if you want to grow this thing, yes, I'm probably a guy that can help you. Yeah. And if I can't, hey, I'll point you in a different direction. Maybe we want different things. Maybe you want X, and I can only give you T. Mm. But that's okay. Yep. But uh, it was a great interview. I'm glad you guys have received it very, very well. It's doing very, 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 very well on social media. So thank you guys. I want to get that out because you guys were, you guys were, uh, were, were blowing <laughs> the chat up.